now to what's going to be our regular look at what's happening with the weather here and sometimes even across the world with Alex. And there has been really exceptional rainfall in parts of Australia where they have witnessed record river levels. It's desperate stuff and it's not over yet, is it? It's not, I'm afraid. Uh, we're looking at the worsted areas across the states of Queensland and New South Wales. And in the weather world, we talk about these events as being a one in a hundred year event, but some experts and politicians in Australia are talking about it as a one in a thousand thousand year event that is how bad the flooding has been and I think it is worth taking a look back at just how bad it was across that southeastern part of Australia rivers bursting their banks turning streets into waterways in fact some areas have seen more than a meter's worth of rain falling in around four to five days they've seen that being topped up over the last few days in fact uh, through the next 24 to 36 hours it is possible that we could see another 200 millimeters of rainfall. Well, let's take a look at the forecast map for Australia and you will notice uh, well, much of the country seeing drier conditions, particularly inland. But you can see that eastern coast being affected by heavy, thundery downpours. As I say, another 200 millimetres is possible as we head through the next couple of days. But there is some good news in the fact that when we get to Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to see that rain pulling away. So conditions are certainly improving there. But I think it's worth bearing in mind, actually, that, you know, across our summer months, we would get around 250 millimetres of rain across the UK. They've seen some of that in a day. Wow, amazing.